If you live for 60 years, you would have spent 20 years just sleeping. That's right. A third of our life is spent in just sleeping and snoozing and resting our body. But sleep is more than that. Many important functions of our brain and our body happen only during sleep. Our body gets rid of the fatigue and prepares ourselves for the next day. And our brain organizes information, makes new memories, and becomes more creative as we are sleeping. It's not just the quantity of sleep. The quality of sleep is very important to do these functions. You might remember sometimes sleeping for 8 or 10 hours and still feeling exhausted and tired the next day. While sometimes you just took a small nap and feel so refreshed that you can go on for many more hours. Our sleep has three phases. Light sleep, deep sleep, and rapid eye movement sleep in which we see dreams. All these stages are important for our mind and body and their appropriate balance makes up the quality of our sleep. If our sleep quality or quantity is not right, then it starts affecting our behaviors and our attitudes. The first thing you will notice is that you will get more irritable and quickly get angry and lose temper. You also develop more craving for foods that are high in sugar and calories. You may feel sleepy and exhausted the next day and that can affect a person's performance, their studies and their rational decision making. At times, sleep deprivation or poor quality of sleep can also lead to road accidents and major injuries. And if sleep problems continue for a long time, it can affect our health in a negative way with putting strains on our heart and other organs. So how can we improve the quality of our sleep and get most out of this time? Here are six tips for you for better sleep. Number one, the most important thing is to have regularity in your sleeping patterns, which means sleeping at around the same time every day and waking up around the same time. Our body has an internal clock and it likes to have this predictable pattern. So follow this pattern even on your holidays and your weekends. Second, avoid use of caffeine and caffeinated drinks such as coffee, soda, and other energy drinks six to eight hours before your sleep time. Caffeine stimulates our brain and does not let it have good deep sleep. Number three, have a wind down routine, which means do some actions to prepare your brain and your body that it's time to go to sleep. You could change your clothes, brush your teeth, pray, or do some activities that prepares your body and mind to go to sleep. Number four, Make your environment comfortable, dark, quiet, and a little cool. Being in the dark releases a chemical in our brain called melatonin, which tells our brain that it's nighttime and go to sleep. Avoid bright light and bright screens one hour before your bedtime. Number five, disconnect yourself from devices, social media, and other stimulating activities an hour before you go to sleep. Similarly, avoid intense exercise an hour before sleep because that also stimulates your brain and body. And number six, if you're finding it hard to sleep and it's been 30 minutes that you're in the bed and tossing around, then get out of the bed and take a walk or do some other activities. Then go to bed when you start feeling sleepy again. This way your brain makes a connection that going to bed or being in bed means go to sleep. Now these are general tips and they will help you improve your sleeping patterns and sleep quality. Now, keep in mind that some people suffer from medical conditions like chronic insomnia or sleep apnea for which they need medical attention. So consult your doctor and get the right care that you need. I hope you learned from this video. Spread this information to others and I hope you all have a good night's sleep. Stay healthy and help others stay healthy.